Hey everyone, it's Bazza again here from Show TV, back with our best selling product of all time, the Fry Air Touch. Now, of all the questions we get in our office every day from all around the country, the most common is what actually comes in with your Fry Air deal. So, today I'm going to unbox a brand new machine, show you the accessories that it comes with, and exactly what we can use those for. Just as I'm starting here, I will also say though that the deluxe accessory package is currently part of the promotion that we're running online. So after I've opened the main box, I'll show you what comes in that deluxe accessory package and you're gonna get all of those with any purchase that you make online at the moment. First things first, let's crack in. Now on top of our box, we have our cookbook. Now not only does that have some wonderful recipes in there, but it has all the different timetables for food. So when you're starting out, really important. Then we have the rotisserie fork, our first accessory. Now I'm going to lay these out one by one and we'll come back to them as I've got them there and show you exactly what they're there for. Lift our cord out. Probably styrene right out. And then we've got the fry air touch and I can send that out to the recycling. Now, as I'm taking off the plastic here, you really don't need to use this chopping board that I do. I've just got a black unit on a black board, so I'm making sure you can see what's happening as we go. So let's take that wrapping off and the wrapping off of there. And all the rest of the accessories we've got stored inside here for you. They're all protected nicely. So we've got the high and low wrap. We've got, well, I'll need to grab my knife there to open. Just be careful as you're doing this of yourself and the accessories. And that's our fry basket. And inside there, we've got another really important piece. Remember how to open one of those. And these funny looking things are actually your tongs, and they're designed to be able to grab all the different pieces up. But We'll show you that in a second as well. Another one that often confuses people is the splatter guard. Uh, and I'll run through that for you in a moment as well. What's actually really important as we stand here with the machine is that the other thing is that the insert here is removable, easy to wash and machine washable. Um, so that's there. I'll do a little uh, FAQ on easy ways to clean your fry air and the accessories. I won't overdo that now. We'll come back to that in a minute. I might plug this in so once we're ready to go, I can show you that in action as well. Now, if we order these out, the two that I'll start with here are these two because they're a little bit different. They're not actually cooking accessories so much. Our splatter guard, if we're doing a big meal, so I'm doing a large pork roast that's coming up close to here, or a rotisserie chicken, that will just spin and lock in on the top to prevent any splatters from the fats heading up in there. It's one of the biggest issues with normal fryers. Any fat getting up around your cooking element, that'll start to smoke and burn. Not nice for the house, not nice if you've got smoke alarms close by. So that one's very handy. The tongs, our fingers just slip into here and that allows us to grip different accessories as we go. So very handy on those as well. Obviously food coming out of a, an oven or an air fryer is going to be really hot so make sure you utilise those. Now the three pieces I have here are the most commonly used accessories that come with the unit. Perhaps most important of all is what we call the high low rack. That's because the way it's designed here with long and short bits is that we can have it down low for a big piece of meat or a cake that we don't want up too close to the unit. Or we can alternate that and set that cooking area up a bit higher. So if I'm just doing a, a schnitzel or a steak, I can have that a little bit closer up and speed up that cooking time. Again, that's used with the tongs, so I can just pop that in and out of my ship machine as I go. The second one I have here is the chicken rotisserie skewer. You can do other meats in there, but the chicken is what's most famous for. Now this has just little winding screws here that will pull those forks on and off, slot them in, tighten them up, 
those prongs will hold on to the meat and that allows us to rotate as we go. That will fit in on the back here and then the little notch on one end will sit on the hook at the front. So make sure that notched end well then any time you have that bar in, is popped towards the front and that'll sort you out nicely. Now I'm going to take the bar off those ones and quickly slot that through my fry basket. Now, we're probably all aware but what air fryers in general are most famous for is cooking those snacks without using so much of the oil and this one is no exception. Not only does it do it beautifully but we can do more than others can uh, with the style of heat we use from our halogen globe, we get a crispier finish. But something like our fry basket, going on the rotisserie, allows us to have perfectly evenly cooked food without you having to play with it as you go. So again, my chips or my chicken nuggets or dim sims, I'll pop in there. First one in the back, the one with the little notch there sits on the forward. Now, once I turn that machine on, you'll see that again, begins to rotate. Now while we have you up a little bit closer, this is a good space to show you that over here on this side, we have our little safety latch. Now before you put the lid down, press that down gently and that allow the lid to pop down. As you come back up to check on your food, although you do have the see-through um, window there, as you pull that up, that little latch will catch, meaning I don't have to hold the lid as it's sitting up. Um, so that makes our life really easy as well. Then once that's stopped, again, you can use your tongs, grab those out, and we're saving our fingers. So we've got our fry basket, our high-low rack, and the chicken uh, rotisserie skewer, where we use that same uh, prong through on the rotisserie with those ones as well, as well as our tongs and our uh, protector for the top, a splatter guard, so we don't get the splatters up there, along with our cookbook. So every person who has ever bought the fryer touch from us will get, receive all four of those accessories, but we'll take you through the other little bit now. As I say, with the current promotion that we're running, you'll also receive the accessories, the deluxe accessory pack. So I'll just take my knife carefully to there. And I'll pull out the next four accessories for us. There's a couple in there. And a couple in there. I'm glad you can't see my mess there. Now the first two accessories I have here are going to work in conjunction with our high low rack. Now it's not just the two pieces I'll show you here, but any oven proof dish that will fit on high or low with our uh, high low rack, we can use in the fryer as well. So we've got a, a small baking dish that you can pull on top. Not only is it great for baking those smaller things, the scones where you don't need so much height, but a lot of people have shown me how they've actually used that in the bottom of the machine, rather than having to clean the big piece in there, which is easy enough as it is, you can utilize that as a smaller piece and catch some of the crumbs or the fat from your food there as well. Otherwise, just use it on top of the rack, that way we still get the airflow going around. So that's our first one there. Second one is doing something that certainly I've never seen any of the other air fryers do, and that's having our steaming rack. So with the steaming rack, you're putting water into the bottom here. Get that hot, turn the machine on, get it up hot, turn it down a little bit so you're not frying your food, then pop your veggies or your seafood in, and allow that to steam in the hot food while we still keep the machine warm as well. So especially for people who are, are using these as their one main item, either in the house or a caravan, having a machine that can do something like that for you as well, is pretty amazing. Now there's a couple of last pieces in my final package here. As we open that up. So I have to do a little bit of work on the second piece to show you how we put that together. But the third one at home, in the last few months, is what I've been really utilising a lot. That comes on the rotisserie built in. See here? So that way we can lock things into this cage 
there's a spring action on those two tongs here when I press that. So I can trap food in all sorts. It's how I do my chickens, chicken strips, which is my main guilty pleasure. Um, you can do flat pieces of meat in there, uh, often done toasted sandwiches, those types of things. You can lock them in so they're not bumping around like things say might if they're um, if they've got looser edges and things that the uh, and you don't want to particularly put them in your cage there the larger one lock them into your basket here and then we can have that going on the rotisserie without things flying around that's really nifty and what I've as I said I've started to use a lot more this is the one that comes in a few pieces that you've got to put together it's one often people have a little bit of trouble with so I'll put it together for you once you've got this together it's probably the most fun piece in the whole kit. So we've got the two circles there. We're going to need to steal our ro ooh, rotisserie rod back from here. And I'll put that bit back on so I don't lose it. Now, the same idea, we've got our little screw to tighten there. So I'm going to put one end through. Now you'll see it's just this, the amount of end that I'm leaving here on both sides, just so we've still got room for that to lock in. I probably don't need to be that close, but leave a little bit on both sides so there's room for it to lock in at the back and sit in on the front. So one piece on the front. The other piece at the back, the back actually needs a little bit more room because that's going into the unit at the back. So now we've got our kebab wheel sorted and you start to realise why I say this one's a little bit more fun. And this is one's the one that I'll often get uh, the younger kids involved with as they really love having a little play, play here. It comes with its own personal kebab skewers and there's ten of those ten of those to lock into your machine so you can make your own chicken lamb beef or veggie kebabs shazlicks for those possibly in a Adelaide or South Australia each one of those will then poke into one of the actual holes the full hole at the back there's two there so you can move it depending on the size of the food don't over confuse yourself, just pop it in one of those and as you get to the, oops, I'll grab that in a second. As you get to the back bit here, just give a little press on the top and that will lock it in to place there. So really nice and easy once you've got the hang of that. Little press, pop it in and then you can go around the circle and just quickly add those in. Obviously when you're cooking, slot your food in there. You can marinate or oil them a little bit if you like to. Um, for most things I won't bother, but depending on how you like things to come out. Spin them on and that turns into the quickest, easiest lot of kebabs that are reusable. Um, unlike buying the sticks from the supermarket, you've made them yourself, you've had them exactly how you like them. That's right, we'll just uh, chop it from there somewhere. So just putting the last of those sticks in there now. Same as we have with our other pieces. That will then just slot into the back, sit on the front. And then once that starts cooking, there is also a rotation button at the, button at the top that I've just pressed there. So if I'm trying to marinate or add some herbs and spices to this as I'm going now, I can do that while it's in the machine rather than having to dirty up the space that I'm working on. Now I won't run through it now but in the next video I'll show off all the different functions that the fryer has because once you know what these are using what we're using all the accessories for and then what the uh, functions are at the top how to use them we can do that beautifully so next time we'll run through those. Until then they're all the accessories that come with the machine 
with our deals at the moment, everything there is going to come included. So jump online, grab one of those. If you have any other questions that I've not answered in any of the other videos, let us know and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.